Okay, here at Toulouse Farms in Riverhead on Sound Avenue. Uh, Toulouse one of the only farms on Long Island that actually gives uh, to their customers whole milk. They sell whole milk squeezed fresh from the cow, not pasteurized. Um, they're approved by the Department of Health to do so. And right here we've got their bottle washing system. Since they go through so many bottles and uh, handing these out to customers, we've got to wash these somehow and sterilize them. And they take the bottles and they stick them here in this machine. And there's some solutions that uh, sterilize them, but they need a lot of hot water to do this. And that's where we came in and we provided them with a solution instead of burning fossil fuels to do this because they try to do everything uh, as close to nature as they can possibly do. Okay, here. here we are outside the barn where the action takes place up on the roof here with our evacuated tube solar thermal collector. Um, the way these work is each one of those tubes is a vacuum tube. It's vacuum sealed and that keeps it kind of like a thermos in the colder months when uh, normally you would want to obviously be getting heat up there and the cold would be interfering with that. It kind of insulates it away from the, the cold. And what goes on in that vacuum is there is an element, a metal element inside there. The sun hits that metal element, heats it up. There's a gas inside of that element. The gas molecules, as they get hot and excited, rise to the top like heat rises. And there's a header that runs across the top of there, as you can see. And in that header, we've put a food grade antifreeze. The food grade antifreeze is going through a supply and return line back down into the utility room where the hot water tank is. Um, what we've got here is a pump station and various controls. And what happens is, as I explained to you, the way those, those units on the, work, uh, on the roof work, the collectors, okay, what, there's sensors up there. Whenever the sun is heating those collectors up um, and they realize that there's heat up there to be captured, it's going to take that food grade antifreeze and run it through that header collect that heat. It's going to bring it down and pump it into our hot water tank over here. This is a 120 gallon hot water tank. All right. And there is a coil, a big copper coil in the bottom of this tank, a heat exchanger where that food grade antifreeze uh, circulates through. And as the hot goes in, it releases it out into the tank and heats this tank up. And then the cooler fluid goes back up to the roof where it again repeats that whole cycle and continues to grab the heat and bring it down. You've got up on the roof, right now it's 152 degrees up on the roof of those collectors. The bottom of our hot water tank is 127 degrees. That's where the cooler fluid is moving out. And on the top of the tank where the hot water is collected from for use over in the, in the bottle washing machine, we've got 141 degrees. And this is in the middle of the day, okay, after he's already done his bottle washing in the morning. He probably had 160 so degrees and pulled water off of there. And the close difference between the roof being 150 somewhat degrees and the top of the tank being 140 something degrees just goes to show you how effective that heat exchange is. So you can see it's very effective and he's washing his bottles over there and this is how we make it all happen for him.